right, so today we're going to turn a single stage furnace with a two stage outdoor unit. Actually, it's a two stage geothermal. We're going to turn this, make this single stage work with that two stage by using a relay. So we can, when it calls for single stage or first stage, we can just do low speed fan. And when it calls for second stage, we'll do high speed fan. So I'm going to mount my relay up here and do all my wiring. All right, so on the board here, you see we got uh, the black wire here goes to the cooling terminal um, right there. And then the blue wire goes to the heat terminal. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the cooling wire and we're going to connect it to one of these uh, either the normally open, which would be the top one, or the number, or the normally closed, which is the bottom one. Depending on how I figure out how I want to wire it up to where, uh, if Y1 energizes the relay or Y2 energizes the relay, depending on how I feel at the time, is depending on going to be which terminal it goes on to. But I'll get it wired up and we'll go through it. All right, so I've had to unwire the low voltage and uh, fix it back the way I really want it to be done. Being a geothermal, we're not going to really need any backup heat at all. So, but since it's a gas furnace, we're going to need some sort of emergency heat. So, of course, it gets wired up pretty much the same way. You got your orange wire going to your reversing valve. Of course, you got your 24 volt hot. Then you have your commons, which is the blue. Then you have Y1, which is yellow. I'm going to use brown for Y2. Um, and I'm going to use black for emergency heat. So you see I've disabled, or not, I'm not going to make the white connection, which would be your normally heat wire, because it is a dual fuel and it's geo, geothermal. So basically you don't really need backup heat. And if he does, it's just a little two-ton system, so a little small upstairs area. So if he does need, he can switch the emergency heat on. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna get it wired up and see. I've got my wires already connected there for um, uh, for my making it into a two-stage furnace, as per se. All right, so I got the upstairs wired up again. Um, see, I got my common, my green, my red. What's going to be the emergency heat goes to the white terminal, and of course you got your yellow for Y1, and then uh, I use brown for Y2. Um, so what I'm doing is when the thermostat calls for Y2, it's going to come on, energize the relay. And it's going to send power from, well, let me start over. When the thermostat gets a signal from green, it's going to hit the G terminal and turn turn the relay on and um, go to the cooling terminal. Then it's going to feed over to the common part of the relay. And then if it's in Y1, is going to go from here to the low speed and bring the low speed fan on. Now when Y2 calls, it's going to go through the brown wire, send a signal to the relay, and then go from, this is still powered because, you know, the G never lost power, so it's going to still go from here, feeding the relay, and then when the relay calls from second stage, or Y2, it's going to energize the relay and send, a, send the power from here to here and then turn in the fan, bring the fan on at a higher speed. So when the homeowner says they don't want to change their furnace and you, um, because it's fairly new, you do what the homeowner wants you to do. Not, you know, it just is what it is. And so back I remember a long time ago when two stage outdoor units first came out and have variable speed and this is exactly what they did so 
you know, um, you just do what you got to do. Anyway, so I'm going to go wire the thermostat uh, that was wired up already. I'm going to go change it around some and then uh, turn this sucker on and test it out. Alrighty then.